So the Social Metrics Commission was formed in order to develop a new measure of poverty for the UK and to clearly identify who is in poverty um, in Britain so that the effective um, interventions can be made by all parties, not just by government, but by all parties. The challenge of doing this work is the mix between agreeing what it is we're actually trying to measure so before we get to technicalities and data and all those kinds of questions, the thing at the beginning was just to agree, we all use the term poverty, but do we all mean the same thing by it? We've all gone on this journey together. Um, what I'm really proud of is the fact that as a group of commissioners, all with diverse views, we've all reached a, an agreed measure of what a good poverty measure needs to look like. And that's not always been easy because we all have different perspectives. I think, and it took a while to get there, the focus on poverty now and an understanding of the way in which resources and needs had to be brought into balance or where they weren't in balance, how we'd actually assess that. We're no longer just looking at incomes, we're looking at all of the things that we can that impact on a person's ability to meet their needs. So taking account of you know, other costs people face, like childcare costs, like cost of disability, like housing costs. And that, that for me, I think is a fundamental change in how we think about poverty. In terms of the biggest challenge, I think it's also the greatest success of the Commission in that it's been able to take a wide variety of viewpoints and create something which everyone has uh, agreed to. We've really developed this measure very carefully uh, over a long period of time, lots of Commissioner meetings, uh, using a reference group of external stakeholders to test our decisions with. Uh, and it's worth saying that we've sought to voluntarily comply with the UK Statistics uh, Authority's Code of Practice and Statistics, which is the sort of benchmark of how to do good statistics. Um, I think what's most useful is the, the really taking account of the needs of uh, disabled people in thinking about measurement. There are still challenges in how that's done, but I think that's a really substantial step forward. I hope that all of the hard work that we've put in is something that fundamentally policymakers at a national level and a local level feel like they can take forward because fundamentally that's the heart of all of the effort that, that I put in and that all of the commissioners have put in. A broad brush, blunt approach to addressing poverty has not worked and we need to disaggregate the causes of poverty and disaggregate the roots out of poverty and make sure that policy addresses each of those pathways differently. It should be a clarion call to people to actually say, okay, this is a group of people we are really concerned about. There are things that can be done here. We have really developed such a strong shared understanding of what we think poverty is, of why it's so damaging, and the sense that we can all come together to solve it. We can again be a world leader in tackling poverty and this new metric could indeed show us the way.